Wouldn't it be great to do something you love every day? Our next guest is doing just that. After leaving a full-time job in marketing, she decided to find a more creative way to live. Sarah Ray Werner is a professional podcaster, writer, and speaker, and that's just part of what she does. She's here to share more about the Right Now podcast and tell us why it's never too late to get creative and start writing. Welcome, Sarah. I'm so excited to have you here. You literally do everything. How did you decide to make the jump into being a full-time writer? Oh my gosh, I think that at some point it was something that I couldn't not do. Um, I think that everybody has a creative spark inside of them and mine was just glowing really brightly and calling really loudly and it was just something I felt compelled to do. So, yeah. Did it take a lot of courage or did it just feel right? It was both. It was uh, both terrifying and delightful. Um, so I worked in uh, sort of traditional jobs. I was in cubicles for years. Um, I worked in marketing for about 10 years and sort of built up to the point where I realized that if I wasn't doing what I felt like I was called to do, if I wasn't creating constantly, um, that I was sort of slowly withering. And I worked with some fantastic people for some great companies, but it just felt right to, um, to be on my own, to do what I really feel called to do. And speaking of it feeling right, to write. <laughs> you have the Right Now podcast that you do. Tell me a little bit more about that podcast. Sure. So the Right Now podcast, and that's W-R-I-T-E because puns, uh, it gives people who listen the time, energy, and courage they need to pursue their passion and just get started writing. Um, it also talks about other types of creativity. Uh, creativity is just so important for us to have in our lives. I feel like everybody, even if you feel like uh, you, you're not talented at writing or you're not talented at drawing, there's still something inside of you that needs to come out. And that's what this podcast encourages people to do is just put aside the judgment and create. I have been listening to the podcast and I've known you for years, but I am actually obsessed with your podcast. <laughs> I almost was probably late to the show today, just <laughs> listening to more and more of it. And there's so something good. I wrote down because I love it. Um, we live in an era where it is very easy to disseminate information and that's publication. You said that on one of your recent podcasts. What does your view of publication really mean to you and how does that sort of change everything? Yeah, absolutely. So we're living in an era now with the, with the internet. Um, everybody has a computer, everybody has a phone. It's sort of the new Gutenberg Press. And it's, it's a really, really great way for people to have a platform and to get their ideas out there. This is so exciting right now. Um, so you have something to say. Everybody has a story to tell. Everybody has a message that is important and you need to get it out. And publication is the best way that we can do that. You can publish via a blog, you can publish via Twitter, social media is a great publication platform. Uh, we just need to remember that that's what they are. They're platforms for publication and we can use them. And I, I love that because you are a Forbes contributor. You were just at YouTube speaking and yet you're out here telling people that if you're tweeting and if you're blogging, you are published, you're an author, and I think that's a really encouraging thing to say. Good. And you're doing more than just this Right Now podcast, so tell me about your other podcast, Girl in Space. <laughs> I want to hear about that. So Girl in Space is a fictional podcast. Um, it is the story of, you know, obviously a girl in space. Um, she has been marooned on a space station. You're not sure why. You're not sure why she's alone. And there is a light steadily moving toward her. And so I'm going to, like, leave you there on that cliffhanger. Um, and you can listen to it. It's out everywhere. It's on iTunes, Spotify, everywhere. Um, yeah, and there's some fun stuff in the works with that, too, that I'm not allowed to talk about yet. And this is a critically acclaimed podcast. I mean, Thank this you. is just doing wonderfully, isn't it? Yes. How did you get the idea to start a fiction? podcast. So, you know, I started the Right Now podcast because I was a blogger who was frustrated and nobody was reading my blog. And I was like, fine, I'm going to do a new medium and see if that works. And that then the Right Now podcast caught on as a podcast instead of a blog. And so I've always been a writer and I have a drawer full of novels that I've never published. And I was like, well, I have a lot of ideas here. I might as well try fictional podcasting. And so that's kind of where that came from. I was just sitting at my desk uh, with my microphone on and I was like, what if I I was just here in space talking to you from space and it just kind of took off from there. 
for your podcast, how much of it just comes out while you're talking and how much of it do you prepare in advance? Absolutely. My two shows are completely different. Girl in Space is fully scripted. So I follow a script and I have other actors and sound effects and music and explosions and all that cool stuff. Whereas for the Right Now podcast, I just have an idea and I sit down in front of the microphone and I talk it out. And so it's a little bit more like a, I don't want to say like a lecture series, because I'm not a sage on the stage kind of person. I'm like figuring it out with you as we go. But um, yeah, I pre kind of prefer to do each show a little bit differently. And you also have a Facebook group that gives support to writers. Tell me about that. Yeah, so I have a Facebook group. It is free to join for anybody who wants to join it. It is a support system. It's called I Am A Writer. And it really encourages you to do the same thing that the podcast does. Uh, but this one is an interactive community. I think at the point of this recording, it's about 23 or 2,400 members. I'm a member. Oh, <gasps> because you're amazing. Thank you. <laughs> I've been a member for a long time. And not, not even as a writer, but just really to absorb all the great things you're doing in the world. So. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's it's out there. Um, there's You can post every day if you want. There's different prompts. There's ways to interact and get the encouragement and support you're looking for, even if you're just starting out, even if you think you can't do it. You've got really a lot of great tips. And you, what kind of articles are you contributing to Forbes now? This yeah. Is like so I'm, crazy. I'm, uh, it, it's kind of funny the way it started is um, I started podcasting about writing. And I was part of a Facebook group called She Podcasts for female podcasters. And there was somebody from Forbes lurking in there. And she saw I was giving advice to other women who were interested in doing podcasting. And she's like, hey, so you're podcasting about writing. How would you like to write about podcasting for us? And I was like... Full are circle. You, are you serious? I know. It's perfect. Well, I am so impressed by everything you're doing. You. I think this was probably just a tip of the iceberg, so hopefully we'll come back and share more of these tips with us soon. I would Thanks love so that. Much. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you.